Hello, I'm Abby Hart, Senior Editor of Landscape Management Magazine. Today, I'm joined by Britt Wood, CEO of the National Association of Landscape Professionals, or NALP. Britt, thanks for joining me today. Great to be here, Abby. Thanks for having me. We've had a lot of big news in the industry back at the end of July uh, with the cancellation of the 2020 GIE Expo. Um, and then shortly thereafter, NALP decided that it would take its Landscapes Conference virtual. What all went into the decision to make Landscapes virtual? Obviously, we were disappointed that we, we couldn't be together with everybody in Louisville. Um, but, you know, just given the, the, the very nature of what's going on, uh, it made sense for us to, to unfortunately postpone the show until next year. Um, and, uh, and so uh, we had begun thinking a while back that this could be a possibility. And so we began looking into uh, to really kind of taking things online and learning as much as we could about virtual conferences and, and how you can make them uh, rich and rewarding for, for your attendees. So um, it wasn't a hard decision because we knew that the landscape industry obviously is still working. Um, and actually, in certain instances, doing very well. We're hearing that from some of our lawn care folks that, that are doing exceptionally well. So we wanted to make sure we were still going to be able to provide education for them um, and so that they would have a chance and potentially a chance to get together, even though not in person, but through, uh, through some technology um, and, and some, some kind of new ways of looking at things. That's great. Um, how has NALP prepared for this year's event? So uh, we, we did two things, actually. Uh, the, the day we canceled um, or postponed uh, the in-person event, we actually sent a survey to our members trying to get a, take their temperature in terms of what they would like to see virtually versus what they would not like to see virtually. The other thing is, is that uh, Heather Parker and Stacia Garigian, who oversee our events department, had begun actually as early as April, begin, beginning to immerse themselves in, in what, uh, what works virtually and what doesn't work virtually. So between the survey and between Stacia and Heather's work, we think we've put together something that, that will uh, be effective in terms of delivering some leaders, uh, uh, I'm sorry, some delivering some content to folks, uh, but also helpful in getting leaders together and allowing them a chance to talk and communicate. And we all know we'd rather be in person but I think you're going to find this is really a, an effective substitute. That's great. Um, is was there anything that surprised you about that survey? Um, things that you that people asked to uh, to get yeah. to, to see so, virtually. So, so <laughs> I mean, this is where I have to admit that I was wrong, and Heather and Stacia were right. Um, I thought people would not like sessions uh, that went on for more than 15 minutes to a half an hour. Actually, the the survey came back and said. Uh, people were looking for things that would take uh, upwards of 45 minutes to an hour. Um, so, uh, yeah, there were a few little little nuggets in there, nothing enormous, but uh, but if I didn't fess up to the fact that I was wrong about that, Heather and Stacey would give me a hard time. But uh, but we did, you know, we, we also, you know, learned that it's good to do things in the afternoon. Uh, the morning is still kind of sacred to folks. They weren't going to, and they certainly weren't going to sit on something all day long. So, you know, those kind of key factors blended in with some of the experience that we've gotten from Heather and Stacia, uh, you know, doing some research into what other associations have done. And uh, I think at the end of the day, you're going to find that this is, again, some of this can be very worthwhile and effective use of time. We're really looking forward to seeing, uh, seeing what NLP has in store. Uh, what can attendees expect from this year's landscapes? First of all, it's, uh, I think there's some things I'm really, I'm really kind of excited about. Um, uh, you know, I think one of our more successful endeavors uh, when, we're, when we're together in person is called Breakfast with Champions. And that's where folks get around the table with a champion and, and they're able to have a very focused discussion on a particular topic. Well, we're actually going to do something with the champions uh, mantra, if you will, and, and turn it into Zoom with champions. And we're going to do that three different times. And, and I think what's unique about that is sometimes with Breakfast with Champions, if you don't get your topic, you're kind of bummed and you, you know, but there'll be multiple chances to get in, sit in on your topic. So I think people are going to get to go to more and do more. Um, we're also, in addition to that, we're going to have peer to peer uh, networking and we're also getting groups together in terms of, uh, you know, the, the portion of the industry they're with. So we're going to have a lawn care um, group that gets together. We're going to have a design and build. What we're trying to do is create some new connections there virtually. And then, of course, we're going to have education sessions. We have over 40 education sessions planned. Um, and they're really, we're really focusing on the opportunity to grow. 
um, and what you can do there. Um, certainly there'll be some more of the technical sessions on safety and finance and other things like that. But we're really trying to focus our attention on growth as well as diversity and inclusion. It's been a big effort for NALP over the past several months. Um, and we see that continuing as we go through our education process. That's fantastic. Uh, we actually included a news item from NALP on its diversity and inclusion efforts back in our August issue. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing how the Diversity and Inclusion Council continues to evolve. And we're really looking forward to Zoom with Champions this year because LM will be moderating a Zoom with Champions discussion that folks should not miss. Uh, Britt, so we're also uh, hearing about this Innovation and Technology event that's coming up uh, November, November 18th, I believe. Uh, could you tell us what NALP has planned for that event? That was originally going to be an event that was going to take place in Louisville. Uh, it's kind of going to be a, a pre-event workshop, if you will, all day. Um, and so uh, that's transitioning to kind of a, a virtual uh, forum as well. And the reason why we're holding it in November is um, we've actually started uh, a, a bunch of new virtual things. We have something called On Tour, where we're actually doing kind of virtual site visits, but also bringing the CEO in for questions and answers after we air kind of the, uh, the 10 to 12 minute video on what they do. Uh, we'll have our virtual landscapes in October. We'll have our technology and innovation in November. We'll do another on tour in December. Um, unfortunately, our leaders forum uh, can, cannot be held in person this year. So we'll be having a virtual replacement for that. And then we're actually gonna do Zoom with Champions again in February. Um, but the technology and innovation forum is really something that's designed to give our members a more focused look in terms of some of the new uh, innovations that are out there. We're working with a lot of obviously our supplier partners um, in terms of rolling out what's new and what's different, but also ways to approach technology, um, how you can think about making good purchase decisions, etc. So all those things kind of compound into this into this virtual seminar. And again, we think the, the opportunity to do sessions uh, continually throughout, especially the down season, uh, While well, we know a lot of people still do snow and ice work, but there's some there's some time available to do this. So, so anyway, we're really excited about uh, about the innovation for the technology innovation forum, but also everything else that we've got going on at NALP. That's fantastic. Uh, full slate, it sounds like. How can people learn more about these events and register? So uh, for for uh, the virtual landscapes, uh, we, we've got a pretty easy one to remember. It's um, landscapeconvention.org. Um, that's the easiest way to, uh, to get access to um, everything that's going to be going on in October at the Virtual Landscapes. If you'd like any more information about all of our events, you can certainly just go to our website, which is landscapeprofessionals.org. So uh, either site uh, will get you to the Virtual Landscapes, but the shortcut to the Virtual Landscapes is uh, landscapeconvention.org. That's great. Britt, thank you so much for the information and thanks for joining me today. Abby, really appreciate the time. Thank you again for having me. That was Britt Wood, CEO of NALP, and I am Abby Hart, Senior Editor of Landscape Management Magazine. Thank you for watching.